quickly how do I connect to my miracles how do I connect to my miracles how do I connect to my miracles now it's time to get my miracle how number one plant the word of God plant the word of God is a harvest of miracles what do I do to get the miracles I will plant the word of God I will plant the word of God in Luke chapter 8 verse 11 I will plant the word of God I will plant the word if you want to receive harvest of miracle in your life you must plant the seed of word of God you must plant the seed of the word of God first you can only reap a spiritual harvest with the seed of the word The seed is the word of God. If you want to have various miracles in your life on daily basis, plant the seed of the word in your life, in your business, in your marriage, in your womb, in your finances. What do you know about money in the Bible? What do you know about healing in the Bible? What is that thing you are talking about? Have you found a place in the world? When the seed is planted as the word, it will culminate into a harvest that the world will see. The word grew in the city of Ephesus and prevail. The word of God can prevail in your body. When the word, the seed you plant in your body, it will kill every seed of sickness in your body. Cancer can die because of the word. Kidney can be resuscitated because of the word of God. There's nothing the world cannot do. He said something very profound, chapter 4, verse 12. He said, The word of God is quick. Do you want the quick money? <laughs> do you want to be fast in your business? Do you want to receive a, a fast and a speedy promotion in your company? Plant the seed of the word. When you go into your office, let the word bear the fruit, bring forth the harvest of miracles. God can't do anything without his word. God can't do anything without that. God has insulted his, his, his word above his names. He can call Jehovah Jireh, cannot make any impact. Jehovah Nisi cannot move anything. But bring forth his word into a situation. And God practically will turn around your situation for good. Plant the seed of the word. You can't assess miracle without spending enough time in the word. To change your heart and your mind. You know when Jesus came on board. The first thing he was doing. He was changing the heart of men. To repent means change your mind. Change your heart. So there are situations that you are in now. All you need first is to release the word. To change your personality. There is this version of you. That cannot handle consistent prosperity. In your generation. In your family. The word can change you. The world can give you the garment of miracles that will happen every day, anywhere you go to, anything you do. The Bible says He daily loaded us with benefits. Not conjoying, not trying to play games and gimmicks, not lying to get through, but sending the word to go before you and make the cricket way straight for you. The world will manifest effectiveness of the word is that the word you know gave, you know he, he gave faith he, he, he produced faith he cultivated faith in your heart that you know that in this situation i will not give up i will not surrender to devil i will not give in i will not back out it doesn't matter what they have said the vanity of the doctor cannot stand concerning my body wherever the seed of the world sickness cannot have a free day with you who is the man who said when God has not commanded it? If God has commanded it, then they can say, I only say because He has said. When I base my saying on what He has said, I can have whatever I said. Faith come by hearing, hearing, and hearing. What do I hear? The word. I don't hear men's voice. When you get involved, when it gets so much in BB Nigeria or BB Tatan, you become like them. Fake life, that's what you believe in. When you hear too much about your environment, about the politics, you look like them. But when you hear the word, you look like the word. The word cannot fail. The word cannot be sick. The word cannot be denied. The Bible says, anywhere he sent the word, he will bring forth whatever he talks about. God's words cannot fail. He said, he said, my word will fail. The heaven and earth will collapse. And 
the word was made flesh and dwell among us. The word became a person. When I study the word, when I put so much effort and time in the word, what happens to me? I communicate to a deity. I speak to a supernatural being. And if I continue to speak to him, I become like him. My eyes will be him. My nose will be him. The Bible says, as we behold, as we behold, there, there, there comes a transformation, a transfiguration, a metaphor, something that will shift us from where we used to be to where we ought to be. It's something that will kick in your step. You are suffering too much because you don't know what the world can do for you, brother. Begging every day. The world cannot beg. The world gets things done. It does not beg any man. The world is Jesus Christ. You can't go out every day in emptiness. Your makeup is not enough for you to get married. Your association with people cannot make you be great. It is what you carry that produces what you should have in your life. Who is ready this week to plant the seed of the world? You want to get married? Go into the world and find out where the world has said concerning marriage. And plant that seed. And harvest of miracle will come to pass. So start planting the word in your heart until faith for your miracle is born. Start planting the word in your heart until faith for your miracle is born. There is a faith for every miracle. And until that seed grows to maturity, it may not produce faith for that miracle. That miracle is coming. 